Good morning. It is May. No, June. Is today June 1st already? 2022? Time seems to be speeding up. Good morning. I'm Jan Jorgensen. We are at the Be the Light Meditations. We meet here every Wednesday morning and we choose a theme, a theme that is percolating, not just in our uh, regular personality and lives related to all the transformations, but the bigger question, what is our role as a messenger and being the actual circuit board for the changes that are slated to come on this planet to finally realize what? It's my favorite book, The Divine Plan, which in some uh, major ways began emerging in 2012 into actual infrastructure, electromagnetic new geometric structures coming and taking place on the earth. So I often say, well, we should be done with the healing, done with the, my mother did this, my father, and the patterning. So we take our time during these meditations quite often now to stand in the middle. Here is the past, we acknowledge it, and we know that if we raise ourselves into a sufficient vibration, we do not have the triggers of our fear-based past and the socially induced coma, trance of uh, being triggered by things that truly are all part of the illusionary state, the spell that this present earth has cast over humans and kept them separate from the remembrance that we are divine souls and we have every right to co-create with creator in every moment and be joyful. So I'm the messenger and I'm here to remind you of that. So I often say, well, how do we see the future? Because if you're like me, you were raised in this generation, our parents are raised in this generation, and this planet has been confused and affected by mutant fear vibrations for quite some time. It has been infected. So Earth somewhat is in isolation. We have a certain level of uh, ability to remember and know the truth and potentials of what can be co-created. So to be honest with you, they took it out of our hands. This is not something that happened from our personality, volition level, and fantasies and imagination. There had to be a very coherent, concise, mathematical, harmonic retunement of everything on earth, and it had to be done by masters. Masters with multiple layers of consciousness who are visitors here from other places and came in, were born into these physical bodies, and slowly and surely say, hey, I'm not from around here, and you're not either. If you're listening to this, you're embroiled, you're enmeshed, and you are invested in the divine plan for Earth. So instead of crying and uh, in pity and exhaustion, let's get on with the planning. Let's use the tools of the Be the Light meditation to make an intention to open our eyes and see what does the future look like? Because the future is going to come through us, but it's already predestined. That's the tricky part. Let me explain. A call was made out in the multi-universes and messengers went to God, source, and said, Earth, this beautiful little planet on the edge of the multi-universes, is taking itself out. The free will experiment for these humanoids to do what they want has gone amok by introducing predatory controlling. It can, the geometry got smashed up. So you and I and other conscious souls residing in, in brilliant uh, communities of cohesive intelligence <laughs> decided, OK, I'll go. So you volunteered. You're a cosmic cowgirl or cowboy, and you came here. You're born in a body. You took the pill of forgetting, and you're beginning to totally wake up to, wait a minute. If I understand the vibrational field, and I hold 
a frequency closer to divinity, my thoughts are divine and I can create through intention. Okay, so we always talk about that. We use our very simple be the light process. So today I said, hey, let's talk about what the communities will look like in the future. I always say you can't sing a song you've never heard, which means you can't imagine or put yourself or hold the vibration of a community that is what? Benevolent, loving, flowing, fear-free, sharing, collaborative, all the words, and many of them are very feminine, of course, in a circular way rather than the power top down, but that's a whole different topic. So where can we see those communities? You may have heard of Talos. This is the third time that our group, oh, time is just a blink, of course, it's all relative. This is the third time that our consciousnesses have reincarnated, and many of you on this call, we've known each other through many different ways, brothers, sisters, lovers, whatever. But here we are, and we have been here three times as a team, and we haven't been able to do it. Jesus and the whole team couldn't do it. The consciousness of the social systems couldn't handle that much light and truth. The Atlantean priests tried to get that pyramid to line up and get light and everybody get, they couldn't. It's almost like we've been Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz trying to get home. And now we're remembering the third time here, we had it inside of us our guidance system to simply ask and intend is like clicking our ruby slippers. So today we're going to ask and intend to see were there's, is there, is there? We know there was coherent systems on earth, but of course they took themselves out as part of the drama and journey of earth. There, many, uh, many uh, very advanced civilizations that fell to the reasons I said before, ego, predatory. But there is a place, it's called Telos, T-E-L-O-S. And from what I understand, and I actually worked with, I did a healing session with uh, Ardella, I'll think of her name in a moment. She wrote all the books about Telos. Telos is an interdimensional city that if you go into a certain frequency vibration, it's a parallel reality, and you can go inside. I've been inside. I have friends who have been inside. I've met the divine beings inside. And there are many, many, many other places on in the world. There is the place where they have the uh, those emerald green tablets, the toth uh, hosts where people come for education with the Melchizedek, the planetary movement and forces in astrology. But let's talk about Talos because it's right at Mount Shasta. It's near many of you on this call. And all you have to do is go in and ask. Talos, through the books, that she wrote, and I'll think of her name in a minute, starts with an A. <laughs> that is, you try to think of something. Talos is a five miles wide city. It's almost like the Ark. They knew that civilization was blowing itself up. I think they went in there after Lemuria had its, Lemuria had its demise. And underground they went, and they have been able to resource the solar, uh, use, they use crystals, phosphorescent for lighting. Uh, they, they go through tunnels. They have every species of animal present there. They do uh, special farming techniques. They have relationship guidelines, which are fabulous and everyone is happy because they can have relationships with people they're choosing 
publicly, transparently, and then they also can come together and say, we want an exclusive monogamous. If you read the book, you'll see this is as close to Brigadoon Nirvana as far as organization of human endeavor and living together in peace and love. There's also it's the cedars ringing tree, the Russian story of the woman in the forest to tell stories of the type of lives that we can have. The reason I'm touching upon Talos and the, um, I think it's the ringing cedar trees. Uh, um, it's a whole series of books. Or maybe you'd like to go to the future and see the communities that you in the very short future will be creating. One of the women on this call said, Jan, I saw all of us, many of the people on this call in Arizona, having a beautiful retreat space. A friend of mine, her friend's daughter said, I saw that I went to an angel's camp and the people were so nice there and we did this, there was a stream. She said, well, who is there? She said, oh, a lady named Jan Jorgensen. So the reason we do these meditations together is we kind of sprinkle the magic across and some of us have skills to see, some to hear and some to know in our gut. So we can co-create it by dropping into a meditation and stopping our thinking and go to these places and get hints and remember, you can't sing a song you've never heard. So if you go there, you can have a sensory experience and you can breathe in the vibration, the colors, the images, the feelings, and bring it back and share it, share that song. I know this works. I hired a scientist one time and he was a little on the intuitive side. Uh, he made the cymatics machine that actually shows your voice print. Eric Larson, a dear friend of mine. And I said, um, Eric, in Egypt, I had an experience of complete enlightenment with the head of Globe Institute, David Gibson. And Spirit said, build it. And I said, I'm not sure what to build, but will you help me? Because he built things from Spirit, Divine Mother. So he, he said, I'm not sure how to do it. And I said, well, I know. I hear they have a healing temple in Talos under Mount Shasta. And we, I said, let's go into a trance. We use the Be the Light meditation, which gives you the reins of all reality. I said, we ask and intend that Eric be shown the exact specifications of the healing temple in Talos. I probably said within three days. He called me a couple of days later, Jan, you're not gonna believe it. I was like flown over. They showed me the structure, the water, the singing 12 people sitting around it in Talos, and they would float a little piece of paper with the name of a person in distress on earth and vibrate and sing a re for that person, like remote healing through the representation of their name. So this does work. This is the theme of our meditation today. I also like to point out that we do have some futurists. This is Caroline Corey. And this last few weeks, I've been working very deeply with my partner to understand how to bring the powers of be on the earth together and to go from chaos to coherence. And so the new government for earth is kind of spelled out in Caroline's book. And so I'm not gonna go through this now, but I'm gonna tell you uh, it does represent an amazing model that is interwoven with galactic administrations, universal principles, good for all, a oneness that is feasible and fair and beneficial to all beings. This will list the different ministries and how it's laid out. But I'll tell you, your experience moving forward and where you end up is all about where you guide yourself. Again, the higher frequency field you can hold, the happier you're going to be. Because I met Melon Thomas, who was the most documented near-death experience. 
We both taught, uh, he was teaching where I was teaching, Sound of Consciousness in San Francisco Institute. And we went out to dinner and I said, well, tell me about the future. And he laughed and he said, each person designs their own future through their expectation, thoughts, and feelings. And they find other people and glom on and create a bubble, and that's your reality. So in these Be the Light meditations, we're making a really concerted, harmonious, like a symphony orchestra effort to create in the image of source for what Earth is going to be with or without you, with or without me. That's why I hold these. I'm going to be on the boat. I'm your cheerleader. Let's let's create heaven on earth. So now we're going to drop into the meditation. Let's call it going to the future and bringing something back. And we will have a conversation at the end. I will press stop on the recording and pe other people will just have to come and be live to be part of that. Okay, because it's personal. We want to be confidential. Take a nice deep breath through your nose and out through your mouth. We begin to still our thoughts. We drop into our body and we leave our minds. We ask and intend to set a sacred space. We put our entire energy field into a beautiful geometric structure that just snugly fits into the all that is, the grid of zero points that makes up everything. We ask and intend that we are relaxed and expanded in this space because we are excusing our own thoughts, other people's thoughts about us, our agendas, our lists, the to-do. And in this moment, we are free we feel our heart opening and expanding to the potential of accessing on the time grid, the t travel grids, to access zero points of our own choosing. This is your journey. You can visit Talos. You can visit an ancient civilization. You can go to the future. Uh, it's going to be a bit chaotic for this decade. Go to the future maybe 15 years. Don't worry, we're going to be having re processes where we're not going to get old like regular people used to. So you might want to go 20 years or 50 years in the future. You choose. You might want to even go up and sit with the galactic administrators and look at the blueprint for what's coming for Earth. But knowing that you are showing up responsibly to be the ground team architects for it to happen. With all of that said, we call in our divine spiritual cohorts. You know their names. The beings that have walked on Earth to assist us. Jesus, Buddha, Kuan Yin, Mary Magdalene, all the divine teachers. We ask that the archangels come in, Archangel Michael. We ask that the Melchizedeks and every conscious being in the universe that wants us to be joyful and successful with this seeing inner seeing exercise is present here with us now and through entrainment we are entering a state of a higher vibrational field that is wonderful it is reassuring and it allows us and protects us during it allows us to take this journey in a protective safe way so we ask that we feel grounded here in our physical body, that we are empty. We're asking to receive images, sensations, and messages. 
to see at our destination how people live in houses under the sky. What do the people look like? Are they eating? Are they breatharians? Are there flying cars? Are there animals? How are people relating to each other? How are they procreating? If that's even happening in a physical sense in the future, you are open with no preconceived notions. You're here to learn. You're a kindergartner as we begin this journey. And this is how we will do the journey. Take your attention to your heart. Your heart is your administration. Imagine that your heart is sending out this question, this intention to receive and retrieve information from this destination of your choice. As this question and energy goes out, it encounters a beautiful fractalating ball of light. It is a decoding mechanism, a travel guide that allows for your question in human terms to now move out and to move into, embed itself into the proper zero point along the grids and you are now moving towards your chosen destination prepared to receive the vibrational information in a coherent manner that you can bring back and decipher with your human brain off you go allow your consciousness to move and glide into the chosen time and space place now let yourself arrive and take a look around the consciousness residing there may or may not acknowledge you. It may be your role just to witness or perhaps to be greeted with no attachment. You are receiving impressions. Of colors, lights, forms, and other beings, other processes and flows present. You are noticing how these beings communicate with each other, how they are connected to a divine communication system just take some time in this realm and I'll bring you back in a few minutes
Receive all of this into your heart. Beautiful, profound information. And begin your journey back through the zero points of the time and space grid and come back down in that channel towards this beautiful fractalating decodement mechanism, which I need to get a good name for. And let this information pass through that it almost is an editing system to bring into words and images and symbols in ways that your present human mentation can decipher, understand, and relate and share it. So let's take a nice deep breath. Go ahead and shake your hands and wiggle your toes. And I'm going to turn the recording off. So while everyone is gathering up those images, hold them. Because in a moment, we're going to share them in community because often we do bring crossovers or information or excitement for each other. But I would just like to invite those um, that aren't and the live recording today to join us every week, Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. Be the light meditation. You can find links at the website, soundandlighthealingarts.com. But right now, take a pencil and write down what you saw, because that's going to put guide posts for you for the future. Maybe you saw a person or some essence and then you're going to meet that person tomorrow. And spirit has designed for you a way to know that you are connected with that person and have a whole new conversation. That's what we do in these meditations. We open the envelope for more expansion and more joy. That's what we do. And that's a divine plan. Expansion and joy. Okay. So I'm going to stop the recording. Stop recording.